on. It's on. Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> so basically today, we're gonna start greasing the machines. Um, I already did all the chores, fed the cows, did the chickens. Um, and then we're gonna start rake that, just flip the rows, and then I'll bale them, bale it. And then we're gonna start um, cutting that field. Then we'll rake it, and then we'll bale it. And then we'll cut the terraces down there if we have time. That's the plan today. Um, this grease in, I still have to grease the 4230 and the John Deere 1350 mower. I already greased the 2940. I'm greasing the Crone baler. Then, and Tony has to grease the 2040 for the Crone rake. And we'll start doing it. Look at this. I love you, truck. There's our chicken tractor out there. We just cut this field. Look at that, the grass is already coming back pretty good. Good morning. What are you guys doing? Cool, we got got some eggs there. Got one that's laying on. One that's laying on. Got one there, two there. Got two there, two there. You are laying an egg as we speak. She laid an egg. They were supposed to start laying in September, October. Well, they started laying in August. There are only 20 in here. There's another 80 outside. The chickens like to hang out on the shade line with the cows. Look at that free range. Sorry I haven't made any videos on second cut yet. We had to put our dog down, Tux. And that kind of stinks. He was our oldest dog, or 11. He was 10. He was gonna turn 11 in November, on November 3rd. He was gonna turn 11. So that kind of stinks. And it's been kind of sad. Sorry I haven't made any videos on second cut. Um, but I really wanted to make a video. It's like, I wanted to make this video in memory of Tux because he's a good dog. I got him 11 years ago, so I was six when we got Tux. Guys, this is Tux. He's our dog. He's like 11 years old and his back legs are starting to go. They have been going, so. Tuxy. There might not be a whole lot more videos with Tux, but yeah. Tuxy, I love you, buddy. What's up, buddy? This is for you, buddy. Okay, how's this looking? Ooh, nice, perfect, cool. Where are you? What the heck did I just say? Oh, nice, perfect, cool. I like that. Okay, I gotta grease the rake, but first I'm gonna get a tripod so you guys can watch me grease the rake. That's how it works, right? So next time you guys buy a hay bale, think of how much time went into that bale. How much money worth of grease, diesel, oil, antifreeze, I mean all that stuff. Everything adds up. So that's why a bale right now in our area is around $5 first, 
six dollars second the second cuts in the fall so that means the farmer stored it all winter for that spring so that's an extra dollar because he that's barn space and that's another um, couple hours of labor just to get the bales into the barn there's just things to think of so you can't get mad your farmers for the price of the bales and everything because it's not their fault it's someone else's fault <laughs> Okay guys, the hay is out of good moisture. So we want 40% moisture, but I'm worried anything higher than that um, will freeze during the winter, which we do not want. So then we can't feed our cows the bills we build because they're frozen. has to go help our electrician for like 10 minutes but we have to bail this like now
first new setup I saw on Cole the Corn Star, and he uses a skid steer to collect bills. So we're trying that because if we can collect bills, or if one person can be collecting bills, the other person can be um, grabbing the bills, putting them on the wrapper, taking them off, while another person is wrapping. That didn't work. So it's a lot more efficient, and we think it might be the better way to go. So out of this thousand pound bale, 400 pounds of this bale is water. When you do square bales, you're burning the moisture off the hay. So you're getting it down to, I think it's like, it's below 10%, I think. I'm pretty sure. We, we have not done too many squares, but I know it's not 30 or 40%. Um, you burn it down awfully low, so it doesn't shrink, it stays tight. Um, and if your bales are baled at a certain moisture content and they're not wrapped, then they'll mold, they can rot, and they can actually catch on fire. So these bales, if we actually, if we leave these bales out in the field, they can catch on fire because they start like fermenting, which is the process of where it becomes silage. Um, and they can heat up so much, they catch on fire, it's crazy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Also the tracks on the skid steer make it so much less bumpy than if you're in a tractor because the tracks are like four feet long so you just ride over bumps, you don't even feel them. Um, and our skid steer has, it's like auto float so you can put the arms on this float setting which is nice because when you go over a bump and you're carrying something heavy, the arms just drop and it like, in the cab you don't feel anything. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. things I love about making these videos is that when friends and family come they like already know what we're doing like I mean they know we're doing second cut they saw us build the wood miser shelter the hoop house the chicken tractor the other chicken tractor all my reviews I mean everything so that's kind of a that's why I like doing YouTube because I know a lot of people are watching that I know so uh, kind of fun what's going on guys That's how you take thumbnails, guys. Wanna go up there? Oh my god, you're so high! <laughs> Whoa! Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video on Vermonters. Next week's video will probably be no-till seeding or um spreading manure. One of those. Probably spreading manure. I'm not sure if I'll film the no-till seeding because a bunch of people are gonna help us do it. And I know they probably don't want to be on camera, so yeah, it's kind of weird filming people. It's like, I don't know. It's weird making this video right now, but it's for you guys. Remember, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It'll help our channel a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.